So today I'm going to show you how to start a braid using a two strand method. Now this method, there are pros and there are cons to doing it, but let me show you two ways you can do it. So you can take the hair, you wrap this extension hair onto the hair like that, making this one strand, another strand, and this the third strand. So we're going to take it like this, and then we're going to wrap it. You guys see how we wrap it? So we're just going to braid the hair using the three strands. Now the pros for this is that it works well if your hair is coarse and if you have like more kinkier hair. And this is very beginner friendly in starting out braids. The cons is that it can easily slip. So if you see, it can easily slip off. So this is a con, this is an issue for doing two strand braids, starting your braids with so two strands. here is another two strand braid method. This one, it has the same pros and cons. So we're gonna start the same way, starting with three strands, one being this, this being the hair itself, and this being another strand of hair. Now with this one, you're gonna take the strand of hair, which is in the middle, and you're gonna wrap it. So this is a two strand wrap. So you're gonna just wrap it with one of the strands. You see how I'm wrapping it? And then you're gonna start the braiding method. So with this method, the con also is that it's beginner friendly and also you can use it for thicker or coarser hair. However, the con for two strands for this method is that it can also easily slip. So you have to be very careful when you do it. So if you want to start a braid with three strands, you have two strands of hair and you interlock them like this. So you're going to interlock them like this. Okay. When you interlock them like this, make sure they equal at the bottom also. And what you're going to do is this is going to be a strand of hair and you're going to take this like this one strand this will be a second strand and then a third strand so this third strand will join up with your hair in the middle okay and you start braiding just like that so the way you start with the braid you see one strand two strand three strand and i'm putting the hair right over there now the pros so i'm just gonna do a simple braid with this okay so we're just gonna take it like that and we're just going to do a simple braid. And when you're doing the braid, stay on the root just for about one or two knotting like that. You stay on the root. Now, the bad thing about this method is there can be a knot at the root. So that's why this method can create a knot at the root. And you see, I kind of made the knot much bigger. So you see how there's a knot at the root. Although it is beginner friendly, you can see it's very beginner friendly to use, but you still do get that knot at the root. So this is another method that you can use and which method a lot of people use. Um, you have the same three strand like that, and you're going to take this hair and you're going to divide it into similarly three strands. So one, two, three. Okay. So what you're going to do is that you're going to treat this as one strand, the middle one as two str one strand, and this also as one strand. So we're just going to take it, put it on the hair, grab each, having each one strand of your own hair, and you're going to start braiding it. So we're going to braid on top, and you notice there's no, um, there's no bulging at the root area, and you're just going ever so slowly going your way and traveling down and you notice how it's kind of like a seamless almost like an invisible braid it's seamless and you notice it looks as if the braid is coming from the scalp so this makes it so easy to use if you're wondering what braiding hair i'm using i'm using a kinky braiding hair all the hair details the mannequin details 
will be in the comment area. Feel free to share this video with anyone that you see. And thank you so much for watching.